सो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ सुजुक्त मंडल आई एम कारेंटली स्टाडिंग इन डिपार्टमेंट अब इलेक्ट्रनिक्स एंड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन इंजिनियारिंग सेकेंड इयर राष्ट्रीय यूनिवर्सिटी इंजिनियर टे टेक्नोलॉजी रुएट सो दिस इज द सेकेंड भिडियो अफ माई आई जी विटी बेस्ड पियोर सैन ऑफ इनवार्टर बेस्ड इनवार्टर सीरिज इन माई फार्स फार्स भिडियो आई हाव डेमस्ट्रेटेड द थी थिटिकल पार्ट अफ अफ दिस इनवार्टर सो हाउ दि द इनवार्टर लुक्स और हाउ द सार्किट डायग्राम एंड हाउ इच एंड एवरी पार्ट और एवरी सेक्शन वर्क सो इफ यू डिटेंट चेक द भिडियो अफ द थिटिकल एक्सप्लेशन प्लिज चेक दैट आउट बिकज उदाउट द थिटिकल एक्सप्लेशन यू वॉन्ट get it properly okay so here you can see uh, this is the actually uh, main uh, circuit diagram uh, sorry the main uh, hardware construction uh, of my pure sino based inverter igbt based sino inverter and uh, Uh, in in this video, uh, first of all, I will uh, go through the uh, hardware construction part or how each and every section is constructed and um, uh, how this is uh, related to the uh, theoretical uh, circuit diagram. And then I will uh, go through. Uh, uh, I will I will turn on on the circuit and uh, show you the output uh, voltage waveform and uh, uh, the output voltage in each section. So okay, so let me start um, the uh, demonstration part. So here you can see in the th theoretical section, uh, I uh, I have um, uh, I have con concluded that uh, this is this is actually the uh, gate signal generator. So uh, in our circuit diagram, uh, sorry, or hardware implementation, and this is actually uh, the uh, main uh, circuit for uh, gate signal generator. Here you can see this is the uh, 80 mega 328p. Um, you you could use uh, this type of uh my microcontroller or uh, many uh, an advanced uh, microcontroller uh, like the, this one uh, this is a stm32 f407 based stm32 bit uh, arm based microcontroller you you can use uh, this type of microcontroller as well so whatever that thing is okay uh, so this board uh, or this microcontroller is uh, responsible for generating the gate pulse uh, which i have shown you in that uh, theoretical part uh, so this is actually gate signal and this signal is generated from this uh, uh i see uh, this is 80 mega 328p and uh, mm, uh, to work that properly we have used the crystal oscillator as it uh, really requires the crystal oscillator and in this, this board actually we have uh, built in uh, the power supply so this is actually a power supply of 12 volt and this is actually power supply of 5 volt uh, to work it properly okay uh, next uh, let, uh, let let us uh, jump to the part of uh, the gate driver section okay so what the gate drivers are so the gate drivers are uh, in this part okay so these are uh, the gate drivers so i told you in that video why the gate driver is uh, required or why the gate driver is needed um, the uh, control signal is uh, generally a uh, 5 volt uh, logic level voltage and uh, to <coughs> thrust it to the igbt's gate voltage the gate driver is really uh, essential so here i have uh, for the uh, control the get driver uh, so just let me disconnect the get driver so uh, main benefit uh, of my proposed design is that it's quite uh, uh, more modular and quite handy uh, you could see easily mm, this is a two layer uh, P pcb design by myself and uh, you could easily swap uh, like uh, in in this inverter section if uh, something goes wrong with uh, this uh, this uh, get driver because uh, sometimes get drivers uh, make some faults so if this fault happen uh, you just easily uh, make it Uh, swipe uh, swipeable or this is uh, a modular gate driver and uh, uh, most most interesting uh, fact is that uh, in this gate driver the gate driver is uh, really uh, uh, both side uh, compatible uh, what do i mean by both side compatible like uh, i could plug in uh, uh, like this uh, this version or i, I could uh, plug in in the opposite direction you could see i have uh, plugged in this in this direction and that direction so i have used um, i have uh, redesigned the pcb in that way okay so what about the thing is uh, let me put put that inside and uh, i could mention you uh, another thing that uh, i have uh, made the uh this board also more modular what is the this board like in in this um uh, hb section you could see this is the hb uh, four igbts are uh, making the uh, hb section and these are the hb okay so here you can see let me focus the camera more okay so here you can see these four igbts are making the hb hmm. uh, so these are the igbts and i have attached a uh, corresponding uh, heat sink with with this for uh, better power performance and uh, these are the gate drivers so actually uh, this is the main board so this is the main board actually uh, for uh, of the igbts and this board consists 
uh, consists of the IGBT and uh, this uh, get driver board as well so uh, this board is also a mod uh, modular board uh, you could swipe it very easily and very co comfortably like uh, some things goes wrong with uh, this board just uh, you could uh, make it sw swipe with this one okay so this is this is actually a very uh, a m modular D design uh, that's why I haven't uh, compact these circuits uh, together like this one together i could easily make it more compact with a single pcb so whatever the thing is uh, this is actually for uh, uh, only a darium demonstration purpose only okay so next our uh, main part is uh, the dislink supply so where is the dislink supply here you can see i have used uh, a lithium poly polymer ion battery uh, for this demonstration actually i used uh, lithium ion battery but uh, for this demonstration i used uh, uh, lithium polymer battery and this is the main uh, dc dc boost converter and this boost converter can uh, uh, capable of boost uh, from 12 volt to 100 volt and uh, con continuous current of uh, 10 ampere to 15 ampere max okay so this is the main uh, dc link voltage supply uh, from 12 volt i could easily raise uh, voltage between uh, 30 volt 40 volt or any types of voltage and uh, these are some control knobs in this um, uh, dc boost converter and uh, for the gate driver voltage i uh, built uh, this uh, 7 8 uh, uh, 1 2 based uh, uh, re re regulator to power up the uh, gate driver of the circuit okay uh, okay so next uh, the tra transformer part and the transformer part is really clearly visible here so this is the actually the transformer um, the uh, step up transformer actually this is a step down transformer but i used it uh, in uh, rear re reverse mode and this is a simple ac voltmeter and this is our uh, corresponding ac load okay so you can see this is our uh, ac load and uh, this is a simple uh, switch uh, for the ac load and uh, this is uh, all the circuit construction uh, or the uh, hardware main hardware construction of my uh, proposed uh, inverter uh, one thing uh, one thing is uh, mentioned here uh, i have used a couple uh, couple of uh, dc dc isolated converters to isolate the ground of the igbds uh, from the uh, circuit <laughs> and uh, 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 without the isolation uh, the proper uh, it won't work uh, properly or nicely so uh, that's all uh, in my next video i will uh, turn in on this circuit and i will show each measurement of individual parts of this circuit so th thank you everyone for joining me in this video